there, this is Max, and in today's little video tip, I want to tell you about what it really looks like and feels like to be an enlightened entrepreneur. And what I've decided, or determined, <laughs> is that there's these two balancing properties. So, on one end, in order to uh, have the enlightened part, you have to be in alignment. You have to feel like what you're doing is making a difference. You have to have a business that improves people's lives. And you have to do it in a way that feels authentic to you. In a way that's congruent with your personal values and your spiritual path. And that when you show up to work, it's not like there's the Max the business guy and then there's Max the personal spiritual guy. They've got, right? They've got to be the same person. That's one side. The enlightened side of being an entrepreneur. And then there's the entrepreneur side of being an entrepreneur, which is how do you run your business effectively? How do you make money? How do you delegate? How do you manage your time? And it's funny because those two worlds can be kind of conflicted, right? So you've got the spiritual, heart-centered, all about giving back and being in service part. And then you've got the concrete, tangible, this is how to get things done part. And I found that the reason that people struggle is because they see them as so different. You kind of feel that internal resistance of like, okay, if I'm going to be in service, then I've got to be up here. But when I've got to be in the doing, I'm going to be down here. And first off, I get it because I have struggled with this quite a bit over the course of my own business life. But I'm getting to the place now where I really see how to merge the two. So here's some suggestions. The first is that you have to, and yes, I'm sorry to use that word, but you have to, on a daily basis, utilize the practices that keep you in the enlightened zone. So I believe that the first 60 to 90 minutes of your day should be devoted to intense, rigorous self-care. So every morning I meditate, I do yoga, I eat something nutritious, and I do something inspiring, whether that's read a book or have an enlightening conversation. And then at nights I'll go do yoga or I'll cook my meals or I will make sure that every single day I've got this blend of business and marketing and getting my message out to the world with the practices that keep me feeling centered, feeling conscious, feeling like I'm okay. And then, my day is devoted to my business. It's devoted to learning and growing. It's devoted to being in the action and activity of what is going to help my business grow. And I also have found that it's so important to find the models and the leaders who are one step ahead of me but in alignment with where I want to go. See, there's lots of people out there who are genuinely walking their talk. And if you get that feeling in your gut, like even though they might have something to offer me, I don't feel like it's in alignment with who I am, listen to that. I have bought so much stuff, good information, good knowledge, but I had a hard time hearing it because it just felt off. You know what I mean? So listen to that wisdom. So to bring it all back around, in order to become an enlightened entrepreneur, the way to walk that line with grace is to have both practices on a daily basis as part of your life. And get into the routine of, you know, staying centered, staying in that enlightened energy, of doing those things that keep you feeling very high vibration. And staying in the energy of growing your business and learning and being a student and getting the mentors and the coaches. And that merge of, of, uh, clarity, of purpose, of spirituality, and of business and marketing of money will help you to get great results and stay very much in a space of feeling connected to who you are. I hope that all makes sense. I hope that you've gained some value from it, and I hope that you'll tune in tomorrow or whenever this next video is to get more guidance. All right, have a great day. Much love.